Hey guys, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Last time, found this crazy temple underneath the Diewood. Diewood? Not Diewood, Diewood. And we've been exploring it, coming across some crazy ass Silence cultists and all sorts of shit. Kicking our asses, lots of traps that Feel can't undo, for God's sake. School, what did I say? Schools have been lashed to this wood effigy. Ugh, nasty. And we're trying to find the goddamn el the elven daughter. So we can get our reward. Oh, God. Alright, well. Go on your own then, that's fine, Matilda. What is that? Chow. Chew. God, that sounds nasty. We're trying to get into this place here. You know, there's a little room here that. God damn. It means we have to go around the trap that somebody's gonna walk into. Maybe not. Right. Time Bet. to see and not be seen. See if there's any loot in here. Let's see what lies this way. Yes, there is. Nice. Any more loot? No more loot? Alright. Back you go. I'm hoping that because they can see the trap now, that they uh, Hello. they just avoid it each time. Hello. Right, there's a box over here. Enemy spotted. There. Okay. Camp supplies. Nice. How do we? Which way do we go? Where do? You, I don't know where he spotted these people. Seems like there's a big brick wall in the way. Ah, here we go. That's what we need. Get that son of a bitch. It's dead. It's dead? <laughs> Why is it not die, should we? Holy shit. Alright. Did loot. We continue. Sharp eyes and keen ears. What well, that's gonna do? No, no, no. All of you go. All of you go. What's that gonna do? Two posts stand firmly in the stonework, with broken ribs falling into the darkness of the chasm. On the other side, there is a slight opening of where a bridge may have led. Spec the area. The darkness below continues as far as you can see. Broken stone pillars, remnants of, missing, of the missing bridge, rise from the abyss. Across the gap you see the, the mouth of a tunnel. Wooden beams protrude from the stones on either side of the chasm. Despite their age, they look sturdy enough to hold a grappling hook and think... Ah, we used that grappling hook on the goddamn thing. We're gonna have to leave. God damn it. Didn't get ourselves another grappling hook. Can't believe it. Alright, so we got some. Alright, bring it on. Hey, so it. Hang it. That's a lot of them. Cultists. Goddamn. Always the cultists. Let's uh, paralyze this. Yeah. What the hell are you doing, Sagna? Get over there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here we get pet up as well. That's what we need. Alright. Everybody else on this one. Although we need to use this spell, but it seems to be pretty good damage. Holy shit, look at that. I like it. Alright. Damn, look at all this stuff. So much. We have to do a good old uh, search for the old inventory at some point. So we need a grab and hook for there. Time to see and not be go up here, which I'm assuming. There are mines here, edged. It's just locked. Oh, we can actually do this one. All right. How may I help? Get I can get it to What's wrong with Phil? And counter and... Yes. It's done. Boom. Nice. Following your All right, let's have a look at this map. I think we need to get in here. Come on back. All right. Get in formation. Quick saves on. Here we go. Oh, shit. Look at this place. This place is freaking crazy! Don't go to the door. I know you're scared, but go! Damn! Blood pool. As you approach the blood pool, the vicious liquid churns and bubbles. You feel essence rising to surface, reaching out to you, whispering. Alright, let's just stand the old soul. The faint whispers resolve in a cacophony of voices. You image yourself surrounded by a hundred men and women. Their naked flesh is scourged and bloody or skin skinned and covered with flies. Their eyes are missing replaced with glistening black stones. Ha <laughs> ha, that sounds horrible. The voice cries out in unison. What's this? I never saw come to rage and burn or merely watch. You may be a long time in waiting. Our work today is already finished. So we're not scared, so we don't know, but we know some lore. You were all sacrificed to the scarum, weren't you? We were sacrificed to the whims and hungers of the rich and powerful. 
but what we gave here, that was our decision. Oh shit, our fury burned within us, unquenched, unfed, but hate can be fashioned into a weapon by those willing to pay the price. In life, we were weak, but in death, we made a choice. Choice carries power. You can now escape your processes and move on. Uh, what kind of power? If you must ask, then you have never need, had never had need of revenge. It is a shame there is nothing in you we could use. Hold. I would know what you've done here. The pool itself begins to ripple with a sound of dis dissonant chorus of perverse laughter that takes at your ears. The lapping blood stirs a large metal cage half submerged in the center of the pool and it creaks loudly as it rocks back and forth on a rusted pulley as if in answer to it. Wait, let me ask some more of this place. The time for questions is over, watcher. Damn it! Pick the wrong goddamn one. Let me speak. Ah, Following son your of a bitch. Went to the wrong goddamn thing. What's the saying? Oh, it's a guy. Is he gonna. Corpse is bent forward. Of course. Alright, so these guys are just all bent forward. Can we now do this place now? Oh, shit, what's this? Crude symbol has been painted on the canvas in streaks of something that looks like blood. Damn, that's crazy. Well, that's annoying that we can't actually talk to it again. What's over here? You guys are new traps every single time. We'll take. What's that? Crazy book. Alright, we'll take that. Some lot picks as well. Perfect. On the table. Another book. Final Journal of Jonas. Oh my god, that's a lot. We'll read that another time. Uh, and the Cryptmaster's Key. Fantastic! Who got here? Some cabinets. We don't need no cabinets. So I think we can unlock those doors now. Not that we need to. Nice and quiet. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nice and quiet. Alright, keep going. Where are we going? Every goddamn time. Why is Bibi guys? Nice and quiet. Just can't avoid the traps, can't. Oh, God. Nice. Okay. Alright, so. What's this gonna lead to? Is this gonna just lead. Oh, no, it's leading somewhere. Your tail ends here! Whoa. Oh, shit, we found something as well. Nice. Uh, I need you to paralyze. That guy. Nice, good job. Alright, that one's nearly dead. So, everybody on that one. Oh, he's not dying. Fuck! Oh, crap, this guy's taking forever to die. Come on, kill it. Kill it quick. The dog continues. Fox. Guys, does not want to die. Holy shit. Pretty strong. There we go, finally. Holy crap. There we go. Do you have any more spells? Yeah. Oh, they went down pretty quick. That's okay. Get the loot. Damn, these guys carry a lot. Found something over here, though. What is that? Major recovery. Uh, of active. Nah, that's not what we need, but okay, I'll take it. It's good enough. I shall. Got a door here that we can unlock with the master's key. God damn it, Slav. Why did you. Why were you the first one in there? You weren't, that's okay. Oh shit. Man, we're all injured as well. God damn it. A large, bald necked man in a hood helps a young elven woman down from a glass chamber connected to dizzying array of cables and machinery. Her skin and clothing glisten with fresh blood. Ah, oh, we're too late. What the fuck is this? Jesus. You may feel a little lightheaded for the next hour or two, but that will pass. Have a meal and get some sleep when you return to town. The transfusion. Ah, oh, God, this guy looks crazy. Wymond. Goddamn Wymond. <laughs> oh, man, she's just like, she's not. The girl sobs into the back of her hand. What the hell is The transfusion will be smoothest if you relax and rest. Damn it, we the need to be scared. essence already has a hold on your mind, so fighting it will be useless. And I hope our new visitor does not complicate matters overly. Oh man, what the hell has he done to her? What's going Subversion, on here? Subversion. The black sheep cousin of justice. Or haven't you heard Lord Heron's tale of woe about a missing daughter and an impending marriage? He's sent his soldiers to scour the village while he bides his time at the Dracogen Inn. 
Yes, we know this. I don't expect you to understand what I'm doing. Neither the rituals of Scan nor the labors of oh, Anamancy meet with much approval in polite society. But unsightliness reminds polite society that there are limits. When no one pays attention to the excesses and debaucheries of a lord, you give them something they can't look away from. What the hell is he on about? Howard said he was taking her to Ern's rest to find a suitor, but a few pieces of his story didn't add up. Did a bit of digging, did you? That's more than can be said for most. Lord Heron's been telling everyone she's his daughter. He brought her all the way out here just to avoid anyone who might know differently. She's his niece, and she's carrying his child. Ah, oh, damn. That's not good. Ah, oh, her own kin. I know how I'll, d I'll deal with that one. Ah, oh, nasty. Okay. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You can't be serious. That's horrible. I'll kill that monster myself as, as soon as I turn, return to town. Seems a bit far-fetched. Hmm. Deceptive. Mm, let's go with... Can't kill him in the middle of town. Let's just say, are we sure for now? Easy to disbelieve. Easy to look away from something this ugly and question what you saw. And that's how he's gotten away with it so far. Yeah, I guess Aaron's that's true. Aaron's own wife's delivered nothing <clears throat> but Hollowborn. Now he's got no heir, and his sister's child, Elise, is reaching the age to marry. Without progeny of his own, Heron's legacy would pass to her issue. So, he found a way to continue his own noble line. By putting his child in this girl, his own niece. Yeah, he didn't really have to resort to violence. Someone could have would have helped her. And Animanti is part of your plan to destroy him. Benevolent? Let's go with that. And yet no one did. Not that innkeeper who wasn't above taking his lordship's coin. Not Heron's attendants who must have known. Not even his wife, the poor girl's aunt. Depravity like this doesn't happen, but that people allow it. This is the truth that decent folk don't want to see. Sometimes you need excess to fight men like Herond. This isn't just about Herond or the girl. It's about the corrupting influences of power and wealth. How people of privilege, people like Herond, are so often insulated from the consequences of their actions. The charged essence of dozens of maltreated slaves and underlings is already taking root in her mind. Once it's established, it'll drive her to murder her uncle her aunt, and anyone foolish enough to get in her way. People won't be able to look away from Herond's sins then. Jesus, this guy's crazy. I do not wish to destroy Nestor Herond. I wish to end his entire rotten line. His name will become a curse among strangers. The deeds of his house will be eclipsed by his ruin. Foes will hear his name and shudder with pity. And any relatives who should survive him will abandon their fortunes just to rid themselves of the association. Holy shit. Oh shit, it's a green mother. Watch her. Do not let this girl and her child become fodder for revenge. Let me touch her mind. I can free her from this snare as well as from the memories that hold her. Do it. Thank you, Watcher. You feel the reach out pers persistent yet gentle. Does not move, but the grieving mother trembles with excision, and the air around her rings with sudden the sound of chimes. At last, she collapses. Her energy spirit, energy spent, the strain throbs in her mind. Ah, oh, is this her? Is this her mother? Her uh. eyes close her eyes. When they open again, her expression is blank. But as she takes in the scene before her, you, Wymond, and the machinery in this strange dark room, her confusion turns to fear. She looks out, a choked, cry. Kill them, all of them. If she can't destroy Heron, then we can destroy his legacy with her. Alright, bring it on, you son of a bitch. And everyone's pretty much injured or dead. God damn it. And we need to go fucking teach that son of a bitch a lesson. What the fuck? We're gonna get him in prison or something like that. Uh, okay. Can I use you? Please? Mm, what do I want? 
What's that? That's a mind breaker. That's fine. You need to do that. All right, there we go. And then we need. Where the hell's Matilda? She at the back? Oh no, she's not. That's okay. Oh my God, everyone's gonna get. Jesus Christ, what's going on here? All right, this is the mess. <laughs> this is a mess. Oh, good lord. Who's that? Itumak. He's all injured. All right, get the preacher. Kill that preacher. Preacher down. Damn it. All right. Let's use this. She can't. Oh, man, this escalated quick. Uh, okay. Kill the cultist. That's what we need. What am I doing? I need to... There we go. All right. Can we just kill this preacher, please? Damn. Nope. Oh, okay. oh shit, Matilda is. Oh my god, Matilda is getting her ass kicked. Damn. Alright, we're gonna have to do something about these guys up here. Oh, I don't really want her to. Nope, Matilda's down. God damn it. Alright, we're gonna need some skellies out. Definitely now. Oh shit. Can you. Yes. Paralyze that son of a bitch. Get the guy. Oh god, everyone's dying. I don't like it. Please. No, please, no, please, no. Alright, that kind of did something, I guess. Has she done the spell yet? No. What the hell's going on here? Get this cooldown down, everybody. Alright, we're gonna have to bring out some of the big shots. Some of the big guns. Okay, use that. Use that there. Ooh, what can we do here? Kill that. Oh my god, everybody just got paralyzed. No. God damn it. Calm it down. Oh god, why is everyone paralyzed? Jesus, we are getting our ass kicked. No, no, no. Oh god, no. Where where's the reload? Oh god. I can't remember where we got to. Alright. Big. Oh shit. Yes, use that. Quick. Use it quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boom. Okay. Hopefully it'll work. Get some tentacles out as well. Please. No. 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 Oh god damn it. Sloth, it's on you, but You've got to do this foot. Yes. Good lord. Finally. Ah. Oh, shit. The Betty's on full health as well. I don't think we got a chance. <laughs> Get interrupted. No. I think we did. God damn. Was not expecting that. Okay. So the quick save was all the way back here. Because I didn't quick save before going in the next place. God damn it. What this does mean is we can actually go through this. Go pick the right goddamn. Pick the other option and see what happens. Extend this. Uh, separate sacrifice. Yep. So instead of what kind of power? Let's see, we can escape the oppressors and move on. The power for revenge. Uh, let's go with the power of revenge, actually, because that's what they were on about. Yes, to defend it instance like you. Wait, did they ask me a question? You made a choice. Choice carries power. The power of revenge. Okay, let's go with that. Anger channeled into fire, bright enough to terrify the mightiest army is hungry enough to consume vast estates and planted like a seed in the heart, strong enough to sway a child to murder. The scheme of the powerless must be subtle, hallowing the enemy from the inside, chewing away the foundations of a house so that it collapses on itself before they are the any the wiser. So you're the force that destroys your enemies from within. How awful. That must be satisfying. Oh god. <laughs> I hope it's worth it. You're the one stuck in a pool of blood pool. Uh, okay. Let's go with that. The Animancer he drills our essence into the mind where it can find traction. We bury deeper and deeper until we've corroded every instinct of resistance and mercy. It becomes our vessel for revenge. It is a shame. There's nothing in you we could use. Ah. This way it's just gonna leave. Yeah, it's just gonna leave me. Damn it! I've got no revenge in me, so that's why. Okay. We continue. Oh, God, I forgot about that goddamn trap. Okay. 
get ourselves back to where we were. And next time, we will head back in. God damn it, all these traps. Is that combat? Are we in combat with? Nothing. That's what I thought. Okay. We'll get back to the door and we'll head on in and kick those guys' asses next time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you think. And if you didn't like this episode, feel free to hit the dislike button. It helps me out. And if this is your first time here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join us. Until next time, guys. See ya.